So live blood analysis makes use of high resolution microscopy to observe live blood cells. It's worth mentioning that it's an unestablished diagnostic test and lacks a bit of hard scientific evidence for its validity, but it's still nonetheless fascinating. So we've taken some of Jeannie's blood and now Judith is going to analyze what we see on screen. Judith. Yes. Um Generally speaking, it is a nice blood slide. We've got a, a quite a healthy profile. We can see the actual red blood cells. What we want to see is the, all the red blood cells singular and free to flow through your bloodstream. Your it's, blood cells are clamping together. They're like mates. It's called relow forming. Yes. I've got social blood cells. Yes, you do. Very social <laughs> blood cells. They are clamping together just a little bit. It's not necessarily that um, your diet is too much high in fat and protein. That's what sometimes it means that the diet has a little bit too much protein in it. The effects of no that... No such thing as too much protein. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the effect of that is it tends to make the body a little bit acidic. Okay. And when you get acid, you get the red blood cells trying to sort of form a clump together, which is why this test usually coincides with a pH balance test, and we take okay. your saliva as well. Because if you tell me now you, your diet is pristine and has very little fat and very little excess protein, then we can only look and see, well, perhaps the body is becoming a bit too um, yeah, There must be another reason for what we see. There must be now. other okay. reasons. And what else do you this, see there, Judith? We're looking at um, basically your red blood cells mm -hmm. gives us the overall health picture. We then look at how each red cell is formed. Are there any slightly smaller ones? That indicates if the diet is just slightly low in iron. And for a lot of women who don't eat a lot of red meat, that is quite an issue. It's not that they are, you can't diagnose anemia through this. It's not a diagnostic tool, but it will show us that perhaps the diet is a little bit low in iron and therefore we need to fix it up from a dietary point of view. Okay. So I need to eat more red meat in that yes. case. Well, it's creating an awareness that there is potentially a, a lack of iron. Okay. And so you need to look into that and go yes. a little further. Because I pump up. You don't eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Listen, I thought I saw a malaria parasite in there. Did I see anything like that too? No. no? Nothing at all. <laughs> this well, is just and, and what does alcohol look what like I want in the blood? To show you. No. <laughs> you won't find any of that. If you can see the strange looking thing yeah. there, that's actually the white blood cells. What we're seeing is that if you had a lot of white blood cells, we'd know you were um, carrying an infection that your body's trying to fight off. But you don't. There's very <laughs> few and they're just looking um, they're like policemen that are dotted around. So it's telling us that you, you're not struggling with an infection somewhere. So this would say, I'm healthy, but I eat too much protein. Or fat, or you might be a little bit acidic. Judith, essentially, no diagnosis. <laughs> Obviously, you can't make a diagnosis on that, but it's an advisory state. It's, it's a just health test, Watch your yes. fat, watch your protein, but otherwise you look like you're in a healthy condition, which is great news. Because this would say, I mean, if I eat too much protein, but for a weight loss thing, you would increase your protein and not eat Mm, not necessarily, but you just you, said diets don't work. It's showing you that you can't <laughs> eat <laughs> a very high protein diet all the time. Mm. It's actually not good for you. Mm. Okay. You become acid. Yeah. Exactly. And that has a whole another set of problems. That, which we that I would agree with. Am I not right in saying cancer grows in an acidic environment? Definitely. So then you've mm. got to make it more alkaline so that you don't get yes. cancer. Okay. Yes. Very nice. But when it comes to getting in shape, as Jeannie Diaz, it really comes down to basically this, the number of calories you take in, you need to burn off. And if you're not burning them off, you need to take in less calories. It's quite simple, really. Am I a doctor?